Hi there. <sighs> How are you doing? Let's take a deep breath, right? <sighs> Energies have been intense. And I have picked up a lot of grieving energy, a lot of inner child healing energy coming through the collective. So I've already pulled the first three cards, my oracle cards in the beginning because I started this video and the tarot deck wasn't quite the right deck. So, but I was asked to keep these cards. We've got overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Got fogged in. This is where we're sitting now, I feel. Kind of things a little bit murky. Maybe being in a little voidy energy. Go slow and take time, which is great because all of a sudden you're going to go... It's like you're going to burst through the veil very quickly because we are being transformed. A fresh new way of living emerges. Yeah. Still don't know what deck to use. I try not to roll away here. Let's do this deck. Going back to old school. So yeah, let's, I just want to tap into the energies. So again, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I don't know if I said that already. Eating something. So again, you know, maybe maybe that's what we're being asked to do right now is just to, to repeat some old patterns to see how they fit. Um, patterns that we thought we needed or needed to get rid of. Uh, I don't know. Overcoming obstacles. This feels like, you know, maybe there's a little bit of um, lack of sure assuredness. Assuredness, is that a word? Um, faith in ourselves, you know, uh, came out the first time I was tried to record and it came out as, you know, walk by faith, not by sight, because with the fogged in, you may have, be having issues with your physical eyes and your third eye, you know, and that makes us um, having, have to lean on our other senses a little more. You know, but all of this, they just fell right out. Justice and the tower. Yeah, all of this is for the, the greater good. It's, you know, we are being transformed right now. My goodness. King of Pentacles. Cards just want to talk. So let's just go. We did have the tower come out and when I tried to record before with the other deck. Um, yeah, but the images on that deck just weren't conducive to the message that I wanted to come through. Well, what I'm picking up right now that they're in the collective, there are some breakdowns of um, traditional systems for sure. I mean, come on, we're in 2024, right? As I'm recording this, this is, is Wednesday, February 7th, I believe. Um, we've got the Sun card, but don't worry. Things are going to be all right. They're all going to work out. A new beginning, joy, innocence, strength. Look at this. Four major arcanas already and a court card. That's beautiful. Ooh, that's way too many. That's I did peek at the moon, though, so we do have a, what do we have, a new moon in Aquarius coming up. Is that Friday or Saturday? Look at your calendar, Mary Jo. I think they will. Uh, Friday. I've got the 9th written down here. Why do I feel that that's not right? Maybe it's the 10th. I'm feeling the 10th. Depends on where you live, obviously. So. Okay, well, what else wants to come out? <laughs> not taking this pile. Taking this one. Knight of Wands came out in the reverse. I am taken in the reverse. <sighs> We're being asked to hold back on something. <laughs> okay, 
right now we're being asked to hold back on something because it's not the time, but soon we're going to be breaking through. Nope. Interesting. So yeah, I've been saying in my last few videos that there's an undercurrent. You can feel the energy um, moving behind the scenes, under the surface, whatever, however you look at it. And um, there's it. Oop. There's that moon card. Yep. Came out. Um, we do have the full moon in Virgo at the end of the month. That's very significant. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. As I'm saying that, I'm hearing that the end of the month is very significant significant for moving things forward. Whew, this is definitely a better deck. So I'm glad I scrapped that first video. Yeah, so right now we are breaking down old systems. You know, that could be not not just collective, but we are in collective energy. Um, break down old systems. We have a um, an election year here in the United States. But personally, this is, you know, breaking down old systems within yourself. This could be breaking down old um, um, connections if you are married. Um, pentacles often comes through as um, King and Queen of Pentacles is a often comes through for me as a married couple, something that's established, something that's you know you have initially thought was long term, but um, you know maybe ended up not being with this tower here. You know, we are we are working really diligently and keeping our energy up, but we are also being asked to hold back on getting. Um, now I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rephrase that. It's time to get excited, but it's not time to take action yet. And whatever whatever that is for you individually. So there is a group of souls on this planet and, you know, that are on the right track to their happiness. They've, they've tamed a lot of their inner demons for sure with that strength card. And they've had a lot of patience. Patience to see the, their own truth and the truth of what they live in, where we live in now in these days. Wow, I mean, I'm, so for, for many of us, I'm hearing that we've discovered that not everything needs our attention, not everything needs our action. Um, we can't save everyone. We can, we can certainly save ourselves um, and heal ourselves. So for those of you who are healers, you know, this is, you know, learning the fine art of when to listen and not take action and not jump in and saying, well, this is what I'm hearing or this is, these are my suggestions. That's for someone in particular, I feel, um, you know, so this is the energy we're sitting in right now, the sun, the strength and the knight of wands. I feel like with the strange strength card is, we're, we're, we're regaining our energy. We're regaining our energy. Maybe that's why we feel like we're a little, you know, depending on the mindset, might feel like we're fogged in, like things aren't moving, but things are definitely moving under the surface. We're being asked to go slow. We're being asked to temper the excitement, not to, to not feel the excitement, but just, you know, like, I don't know, just how you're holding the reins, or maybe it's letting go of the reins. You know, I don't know. I I'm, that's a difficult energy for me to tap into, but we're being asked to really hone in on our own abilities right now. Sit in, sit in what we're sitting in. You know, if you've got past life things coming up, if you've got childhood, you know issues coming up, if you've got family issues, old patternings, old thought forms, whatever it is, old beliefs coming back in, 
to, to have another go around or have another look at. Um, just sitting in that and being okay with sitting in that because toward the end of the month, things are definitely going to move forward very quickly with this Virgo full moon um, at the end of the month. The 24th, I've got written down here. That's when the universe is, is really, the, we do have some cosmic energy that will be helping that out. Talk to me more, Spirit, about um, where we're sitting now. Talk to me about the Sun card and the strength and the divine Sun card. Pentacles. Very um, interesting. So the sun is a masculine energy. So we do have the masculine and the feminine here on the table. We do have, you know, the masculine energy and the feminine energy with the sun and the moon respectively. You know, and pentacles is a feminine energy. Oh. Very interesting. So I'm I'm feeling that there might be um, some balance, uh, financial balance needing to be worked out here. If this not is if this is not financial for you, this is just um, the sun is really illuminating for you where you're your heart may be still closed um, in any you know, regarding any kind of situation you know we, uh, because it was a past hurt or past um, lack mentality and you're being asked to really be gentle with yourself take a look at it and um, love it just love it plain that was plain and simple just love it um, you know, this again is coming through saying, you know, the tower and the, these pentacles here and the justice card is it definitely saying, you know, you know, people are saying, you know, when was the last time, um, let's see. So when Pluto went into Capricorn back in two, 2008 is when the banking system fell off the cliff some people are saying um you might be feeling a little bit of that again as pluto is leaving capricorn and into aquarius now um i'm feeling that's going to be a little more um toward september october november time when we dip back into capricorn uh, with pluto but um perhaps with pluto leaving capricorn and now being in Aquarius, there might be some little bit of um, like trying to get your footing on a rocking boat is, is what I'm being shown, you know. But the sun card is coming through saying, you know, don't worry about that. You know, things are going to 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 work out for the highest good of all. You know, what's being illuminated, you know, for the collective and for you personally is is just for you to take a look at to see, am I stable? Is my 401k stable? Is my, you know, how I earn money or whatever, you know, how I, my relationship with money, is that stable? Is it how I want it to be? And if it's not, then it gives us an opportunity to really change things up. It to not be so hard on ourselves um, in that process. Tell me about the strength card. A lot of patience with this. Wow. Yeah, walking walking away from authority. Walking away. For some, this is a divine masculine energy. Is walking away from um, perhaps uh, getting a divorce. This has been coming through quite often. There's, a, you know, another divine masculine energy with the King of Pentacles. You know, that's for a group of group of souls who that resonates with. Um, 
yeah, the chariot on the bottom of the deck, moving toward higher consciousness, moving toward a, um, self-discovery. The hermit was underneath that chariot. And this is, I love that because the hermit, you've heard me say before, for me, the eight of Pentac or eight of cups is the lower or the, or the minor arcana of the hermit, which is a mi major arcana card. If you're unfamiliar with tarot and this is going, leaving behind things that, you know, yeah, you may have healed them, but they're, you know, and once you've healed them, they're not, there's no emotional charge anymore. They're not fulfilling you. That you know that there there's no place for them anymore. And you go on a, a journey, a quest of self discovery. This could be the divine masculine outer energy. This could be your own inner masculine energy. Um, either going into, I'm feeling for a lot of masculine um, outer and inner. Um, this is actually an emergence. You know, we do have the transformation card that says a fresh new way of living emerges. I feel like this is this is the, the masculine energy emerging from the hermit energy and um, really coming into their strength, our strength, male or female, it doesn't matter. Walking away from, um, again, like I said, the old authority uh, energy <laughs> in my nose is really tickly tickly my hair but it's not so it's it it tickles a lot when I'm channeling something specific um, or, or some a specific so um, <laughs> do you have a, a great deal of masculine energy on the on the table here with a with a little exception I do have some feminine there's more of a masculine feel on the, on the table, though. It's not quite balanced. Let's take a look at this Knight of Wands. Why is this in reverse, please? Because we're asked to slow down. You know, the font in says, go slow and take time. You know, we feel this energy rushing. We, we've got all the time in the world. Taking that one. Taking the one that... I thought I saw one flip. Apparently not. Maybe it was him. It must have been. Oh, that's a lot. All right, Knight of Wands. I'm being asked to take it. These three came out together. Three of Swords, Knight of Wands nine of pentacles so we are an ending um of a, a really tough situation you know we are being asked to open our hearts that's where we're asked to be right now not in this action mode right yet it's like right yet we're not meant to it's like the with the two nines here we're just on the brink of this turning upright and when it does when we're, when we're in our heart space, and we're ready, we're, we kind of got our, our emotions because of what we're going through right now. When we got our emotions in, in check and everything and we know where we're at and we're, we're fully centered and grounded in the heart space. And then out of the gate, sharp moving energy, fast moving energy, the fastest night in the deck comes through and just cuts through the fog. It's like... Um, it's like I'm, I'm seeing um, headlights, you know, that final, finally are, are upon you and when you're driving in the fog. And it requires very quick analytical action. So it's like, okay, do I, do I veer? Do I stop? Do I, uh, whatever, you know, what am I moving around here? What am I, um, how do I maneuver? And the information and, and the, the messages will be coming in very quickly toward the end of the month. Yeah, messages, Page of Pentacles. And yeah, the messages and the how, how do we move forward? Page of Wands, how do I take action? Page of Cups, 
you know, new beginnings because I've healed with the temperance card. Um, interesting. I've got a reverse card in my deck, which I typically don't. Um, but it obviously <laughs> wanted to, to come out. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like, um, for some, there's, like I said before, there's going to be a little challenge with the financial sector of your life. Um, but look at these new beginnings that are coming. You don't see it because it's on the bottom of the deck. These are potential energies that are that are just waiting in the wings. Uh, maybe it's an apology from somebody. Maybe it's um, a new opportunity and a, an idea that can move things forward, that can bring in some maybe new business or make something tangible, um, whether that's a job or a relationship, whatever it is. And it comes through because it's been healed. There's been healing. And you you know, just because you've been healing, you can't start something new from an old space, right? You've got to start from those page, the the, the mind of the page is the, the, the new beginning, the new mindset. All right, let's take a look at the, the moon. What what does the moon want to illuminate for us? We got the Virgo full moon at the end of the month. So this came out in the reverse. We did see it in the upright just a moment ago on the bottom of the deck. The moon is going to illuminate for us why things couldn't move, move ahead before. It's like, not that we need to know the answer why, but it's like knowing the answer why helps things move forward smoothly. And then we've got the Wheel of Fortune and this transformation card here. You know, so let's take a look at that energy. Come on, come on. I'm being asked to keep... Oh, no, nope, it did fall out. Okay. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups. Yes! What you discovered about yourself. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups. You know, it brings joy not just to you, but to others. This is moving forward on your path, on your mission. And you know what? I've said months ago that I, I need to get, because I'm constantly saying, I'm constantly doing this, saying, be the lighthouse. Hold the light. Hold your lantern for others. Be the example. Lead by example. So, I found this, <laughs> this little battery operated <laughs> at the dollar store a little lantern and I'm thinking oh my gosh I got to get that for my table eventually I will get a an antique one because I feel that calling me but um, for the time being but look at all the different directions you know how it's shining through back here and over here and over here and over here your light can touch so many it's not just the person that's in front of you because that person in front of you will then take what you've gifted them without even knowing half the time. And then they, they're going to emote that and express that out to others. Like your light carries on and on and on. Look at it. You've got the light inside and I've, you can see two ever other reflections outside of that coming this way toward me. And it's just beautiful. You see that? It's a ripple effect, folks. Shine your light. Your path is going to be illuminated by the end of the month. You're going to know. So right now, in this fog in energy spirit, what is the advice? Shine your heart. Shine your light. Open your heart up, you know, to yourself. Keep your mind set. You know, I don't have a lot of swords here, but I'm, I just want to say, you know, how you're communicating this energy to yourself. Oh, that's way too much. Is important. There we go. Spirit's advice. Do nothing. Say nothing right now. And I, you know, you know, typically I get an, another oracle card, but I'm going to leave it there. Do nothing and say nothing right now. Spirit saying that's enough. All right. Thank you for being with me. Oh my gosh. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the subscribers. 
for those of you who are new, welcome. And if you like this message, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a private reading, you can email me, email me at divinemessenger717 at gmail.com. Till next time. I love you.